We are halfway through June. Thanks for getting your baseball fix with us on MLB Central. Good morning, gentlemen. Robert Flores, Mark DeRosa. I'm Lauren Shahadi. How are you guys? How was your weekend? d -Row? Me first. All right, first off, I spent my week in the middle of nowhere in Georgia at a 10U baseball tournament. We got knocked out in the semifinals. The kids ran out of gas. We ran out of pitching, but it was nice to be back out there. Ton of teams back out there. Social distancing to a certain degree, no concessions, no stands open. So the parents were actually in the outfield behind the wall, which was nice. They couldn't be like, hey, Jimmy, swing at this. Don't swing at that. Boom, boom, boom. So it was nice to be able to just coach the kids. And that was my weekend. I watched a little golf, too. It was nice to see golf back on. It was nice to see Jim yeah. Nance back on the television. Robert, are you still napping these days? What do your days consist of? Uh, yesterday, I did absolutely nothing. <laughs> I mean, like I looked down at my my uh, my Apple Watch at one point, and it just read seriously. I mean, <laughs> just I I did absolutely nothing. No laps in the pool. I'm so jealous you have a pool, by the way, both of you. It's what? pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. Mentally, to you. mentally, at around seven o'clock, do you do you check yourself and say I did nothing today? Yes, and it was exactly at seven o'clock where I was just like, man, where has the day gone? I have done nothing. That's okay. Lauren, Lauren what did you do? I went strawberry picking and made strawberry jam. <laughs> Your face. What are you, Laura Ingalls? No. I tell you what I, I'm scared to tell you guys what I do. You know what's scary? scary? You know what's scary, Lauren? I grew up in Jersey, born and raised. Never went to like 15 places you've told me you've been to since you've worked at MLB Network. You gotta get outside, expand your horizons. We're about to do so on this game halfway through June. Um, June 15th, 2020. Do you happen to know what else happened this date in baseball history? Hope you studied up because you're about to be put to the test. First question, are you ready? On this date, 1938, Johnny Vandermeer pitched his second consecutive oh. no-hitter for the Reds, you know it already. How many days rest did he have in between the two starts? Robert, you're first. Uh, I, I'm gonna say, <laughs> I, I'm gonna say three. <gasps> you stole my answer. Nailed it. You had no idea? He stole I didn't my have any idea. Is that ever happening again, d -Rob? No. Of all the I wish, current I, I, I wish it would, but there's no, there's no, there's the no chance. chance do what do you that? think Johnny Vandermeer was making? A return on investment. We don't, you know, we got to protect these guys now, making so much money. Three days between his two no-hitters, June 11th and June 15th. Robert, this is a question pre-central for you. Okay. So you, I'll come to you first on this. On June 15th, 2016, which musical performer was in studio? On MLB Central, wait for it, I have choices. A, River Runs North. B, Christian Scleros. C, Frankie Ballard. What? <laughs> I miss our musical guest, don't you? I don't. Christian Scleros was a musical guest? She sang the national anthem at Yankee State. I guess River Runs through it. <laughs> Robert, any guesses? I know you were glued to the television watching us. You were such um, a what was that second one before the young lady's name? There wasn't. It was River Runs North. It was Christina Scleros and then Frankie Ballard. Oh, Frankie Ballard. <laughs> two for two. Robert, we had Goo Goo Dolls head singer on, by the way. Who is that? Who is John, that? That who is that? Frankie Ballard. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I got to be honest. We're keeping it real. I know a lot of people didn't know I played in the big leagues. I don't even remember Frankie Ballard, River Runs North. I you want Johnny Resnick with a goo goo dog. What did he say in a commercial break? Somebody get me a glass of hot water. <laughs> Dude, I was like, you're a rock star. <laughs> yeah, that was nice. This date, 1965, Denny McLean set an MLB record, striking out the first seven batters he faced. How many strikeouts did he finish with in that game? Was it seven, 10? 12 or 14, Robert? Um, I'll go 14. <laughs> Robert, do you have, the, you have the answers? No, I really don't. I really don't. 
Now, earlier, I can in the chat here on the side, I saw one of the answers, but that's the only one that they've been given. 14 strikeouts and six and two third. We are rolling. This date, 1983, the year I was born. Keith Hernandez was traded from the Cardinals to the Mets. How a little pop culture for you. How many episodes of Seinfeld has he appeared in, d -Row? What? One was a series it. finale. You know this? Mm -hmm. Wait, really? He was How many episodes Keith Hernandez has been in? He's a repeat offender. Yeah. I'll say, I'll say three. And okay. I have no idea. You guys, you guys are messing with me. You have the cheat sheet. Yes. Oh, shoot. I thought it was two. Okay. Three. Three. If you're in Seinfeld, you made it, by the way. This is a good one. It's true or false. June 15th, 2019, D-Row nearly tore his ACL in a bouncy house. True or false? At the MLB Network Family Day. That's that true. Is true. That is Definitely true. true. Some little whippersnapper tried to take me out. I don't know whose kid it was, but he came down that slide and tried to rip my ACL off. <laughs> While well, you're on air saying reporting live from the bouncy house. <laughs> By the way, picture. And you're wrong. It was June 24th. <laughs> this is going exactly how I thought it would. Oh my God. Happy birthday, gentlemen, are in order for Tim Lincecum, turns 36, is born on this date, 1984, through his last MLB pitch in 2016, wearing which team's uniform, Robert? I'm embarrassed to say I didn't remember it. Uh, I'm going to say, uh, is it the Rangers? Zero. Angels. Angels. Starting not for the Angels. That's it. Darn it. I was going to say Angels, too. Mm. <laughs> this date, 2007, Julio Franco stepped to the plate against Roger Clemens. It was the final MLB season for both of them. It was the oldest batter-pitcher matchup in baseball since 1933. Can you guess their combined ages on that day? You know, Robert is one up on Dero in this game with two left to go, two questions mm. left to play. Was it 88 years old combined, 91, 93, or 97? I'm going to say 88. Zero? I play, oh, man. I played with Julio. He was like on parts unknown. I mean, it was a mythical age. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go even higher. Julio was old. He was old. He was like 45, 46. You're right. You're right. I feel like. 93. Okay. I'll go with the highest one. We are tied with one question. Dang it. Renko is 48, Clemens 44, 93 years, 246 days combined. Last Warren, still taking BP. Julio Franco, do yourself a favor on Twitter. He was still taking BP. I think he's something, you know, plus 50. That's amazing. I'm 48 years old, 48 and 44, respectively. One more question. We are all tied up. Are you nervous? Yes, very. No. This date, 1994, Disney's The Lion King opened in theaters. Can you name the song from the movie that Yoannis Espedes used for his walk-up music? Sing it, Dero, please, if you are unfamiliar. My, my throat's a little <laughs> dry. <laughs> I'll pick it up. Oh, that one? I can't do it right now. My throat from yelling, run, run, run. A, Matata, B, Circle of Life, C, Can You Feel the Love Tonight? B, it's B. Robert! All right, Robert's right. <laughs> Is the king of the <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, there we go. We are ready to start the week right. Thanks for joining us on MLB Central. We will be back on Wednesday and better than ever. So, see you then. Take care.